What's up guys, Tyler here from Anything Scout with another find series on this 800 I have here behind me. Um, just go over a few of the things that we look for, what we like to see, what we don't like to see, um, and just kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on what to look for when purchasing a Scout. So first things first here on this truck, uh, looking at it just briefly, it is full of Bondo. That's not necessarily a bad thing. If you come over here to this grill, this grill is something very unique and we were very nervous about seeing some of this. Uh, but after getting the truck here, after closer inspection, I noticed that a lot of it's just shaped with Bondo and the grill's not actually hacked up. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. The hood on this is very nice. The top is very nice. A few dents and dings. Um, overall, there's some very good parts on it, but at the same time, there's a lot of Bondo. There's a few patches, but structurally, it seems to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, we can kind of go over some of that. So for example, on this quarter panel here, there's a riveted on patch panel. Looks like this was smashed in, dented in doesn't necessarily mean it's rusty back there. Obviously I can't see because of the patch on there, but it's just a poor repair. So it's not necessarily something to be really afraid of, but it is something uh, definitely to keep in mind when looking for the truck for you. You know, if it's a driver that you want, you don't want to go through a bunch of body work and repairs, then something like this is definitely something to look out for just because it's a pretty intensive repair. Another aspect to look for is all of the individual body panels. For instance, this tailgate is very nice other than the added on uh, license plate thing they did here. But overall, the tailgate's straight, not rusty. You can also see on the back of the truck here, they molded in some tail lights that are not supposed to be on this truck and filled it with Bondo. Could be an easy fix, but again, just like the quarter panel, could be very um, extensive repair for someone that's just looking for kind of a driver's truck. All right, again, some of the individual panels on the truck. This hard top is in really good shape. You know, some people look at it like there's a dent on the top on the other side. This rail um, is actually really nice. There's a little bit of rust on it, but overall it's solid. It's not banged up real bad and it's not really rotted out. So onto the interior of this truck. So obviously the seats are not original, headliner's not original, carpet's not original, all that stuff was added. There were a few things that were covered you know, back in the day. They were probably fine back then, but now all of that stuff needs to be addressed. And the bad thing about some of that is that traps a lot of moisture in, especially a truck like this that's been sitting. So if you do come across a truck like this, you wanna make sure you pull up the carpet, look at the floors, it's an 800. A lot of the time the floors are rusty anyway, but that just uh, adds to the possibilities of having a totally rotted out floor with the moisture staying underneath the carpet in there. Um, the dash in here is very complete and original. Only looks like hacked up a little bit for a radio slot. Not a huge deal depending on what you want to do with your truck, but that is something to look out for. Not the original steering wheel, um, some other things in there, but Overall, it's complete inside, which is definitely a positive thing. On to the engine bay. Um, this truck is very complete. I have no idea if it'll run. There's a chance it would. Um, I don't think we've tried anything with it, so I don't even know if the engine turns over. But the positives are that everything seems to be complete in here. There's a couple of hoses that are unhooked and whatnot, but uh, still has the air cleaner on it, keeping the carb hopefully nice and clean. Um, and everything else is attached and seems to be totally complete. Um, for us, that's not a huge deal, but for you looking for something to restore, to drive, etc., you know, making sure you have all of the parts there is definitely a good starting point. All right, guys, to conclude this fine series, would I buy this truck? Probably, if it was the right price. Um, all of those things to look for, it's structurally pretty sound, it's mostly complete. There's definitely things that uh, you don't want and there's lots of negatives like all of the Bondo in the truck but depending on what you want those aren't necessarily things to deter you away I personally believe the biggest things are stuff being complete like the drivetrain the dash 
and uh, the truck being structurally sound itself. A lot of the other stuff can be uh, big hurdles to jump through, but some of that stuff's also superficial, just depending on what you are looking for. I think that's a good wrap. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe to the video, and we'll see you next time.